Hey everyone, this is Walter, and we're back here with some more madness from the postings of Lucas Werner. Lucas is the guy who made international news after getting kicked out of Starbucks for leaving a creepy note for a young barista. However, he hasn't gotten any better in the seven years since then. Let's just get started with Lucas Werner and the $100 steak. You know, I always wondered why this guy was going after Gen Z on Facebook instead of making a TikTok, but we're not quite starting there. I'm starting from where my last video left off. I'll link in the description if you haven't seen it. Obesity is relative. You can trust a fat chef, but you probably shouldn't trust a fat doctor. That in no way means obesity is relative, especially in the dating sense, like he obviously always means. Frankly, my dears, Zoomers don't care as much about economic class, but are rather ageist until you bring up Noam Chomsky, Ralph Nader, Jimmy Carter, and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. But these are all powerful people, and women are going to be women. Short of owning a car, even though I was a muscular 180 pounds, still needs to be an evaporated need, because I have no real power other than certain moral stances that afford me a greater lifestyle sans her, whomever, which would improve it in certain unique and enjoyable ways that can't be elevated otherwise without her, whomever. Oh yeah, let me talk to Gen Z about Ralph Nader. I'd be surprised if they'd ever heard of him. It's funny how if you're a man with an older woman couple, you're thought of as a king and queen. And honestly, we understand that the older woman is going to give a younger man guidance. We understand that kind of relationship instinctually because we're so comfortable with this arrangement. Switch the roles, and from where the lady is not seen as a manipulator, the older man is seen as manipulative. This isn't even true. People are looking at large age gaps the same way. It's not illegal, but it's a red flag. They might find women doing it less creepy, but Lucas just has the special creep factor going for him. Look at the way he smiles. Nothing pisses off middle-aged women more than seeing a guy their age happy with a much younger woman. Interracial couples don't necessarily elicit the same effect. Same-sex couples don't necessarily elicit the same effect. Couples where the lady earns more than the guy doesn't elicit the same effect. Height differences. Weight differences. No effect. One of her divorced girlfriends starts dating a young man? OMG, that's so hot! Lucas, the word is illicit. I thought you were supposed to be smart. People wonder why some people date much older people. Aged liquor, aged cheese, basking in the light and warmth of a middle-aged sun. People wonder why some people date younger people. Fresh salad greens, fresh flowers, fresh baked bread, floating on the steam of a fresh baked apple pie sitting on the windowsill. Fresh clean showers, old school charm, brand new socks, worn in socks, ancient universe, life much younger than the fabric of space, much younger still, the human race. Lucas has been using this reasoning that men are better with age because of food-related reasons for years. It's amazing that he thinks the same old line is suddenly going to work. Most people don't want to date the image they see in the mirror. Most are opposite sex oriented. It's probably racist to not date someone outside your race, based on very similar logic as being attracted to a person of a different sex. It's probably inappropriate to deny someone based on a lot of factors that are different than one's own self, that are biological underpinnings and cannot be changed like one's age, and an attractiveness to wisdom, maturity, and a depth of playfulness, fun, and adventurousness in their places and times. Hey Lucas, nobody has to date anyone. To put no darkies on your attraction sign makes you look like an asshole, but no one's going to call you racist for just not dating black women. Well, Lucas said that to me, but that's the only time I've ever heard such a thing. Wouldn't mind having a platonic friend with benefits. Wouldn't mind having a romantic conversationalist. A platonic friend with benefits? Yeah, sure. I don't know what compels these women to match with me, seeing my face, body, and words, and then they flake upon any attempt at contact. Don't recommend your favorite dating sites to me because it's the same story across all apps. There's no shelter there. There's no peace. You have to be an impossibility. You have to have over $100,000 in your bank account. You have to agree to step-parent their multiple kids. You have to look like a movie star. You ought to be as funny as a stand-up comedian. You ought to be held to unreasonable and unreachable standards on any app you use. Well, it appears Lucas was making use of Tinder at this time, and it wasn't working out very well for him. I find it hard to believe anyone wants him to be a step-parent. For all that love thy neighbor talk, they sure do as group tack on a lot of either win-convenient attitude or straight-up disinterest in ever loving anyone who tries to be loving. The Bible says love thy neighbor, and Lucas hears date thy neighbor. 
It's funny how you can be anybody and use the internet for your benefit, except dating sites, where you have to be perfect. Other than having zero sympathy for others, unless they're your twin personality. Otherwise, it's thoughts and prayers and other dumb bullshit instead of helping out. You really have to be shallow or unreasonably patient for years of trial and error to find success, and even that's not guaranteed like almost anything else you want from the internet. It is astounding that he thinks somebody's going to match with him out of sympathy, or that he even wants such a thing. A lot of skinny guys with big old mamma jammas. You occasionally see a bigger guy with a toned athletic woman. Not as often, because women are more weightist than men. You often see young guys with older women, too. You see a lot of homosexuality and interracial love. You see older guys paying to be with young women, because women are more ages than men. More classist than men. Beautiful bodies. Some of them as evil as the evil ingots hiding behind a delightful smile where dragons of injustice lurk. At least there's you. Whomever reading this. That's not you. Is it? I love how theists think they can insult us into their religion. Man, rarely have I seen a Christian who hates atheists as much as Lucas hates Christians. I haven't been on a first date in 15 years. Lobster? Steak? Veal? Whatever you like. I wonder if veal's one of the top three meals for Gen Z. There's no shame in being a sex content creator, but if you're going to fuck some guy who isn't me, I'm not giving you any money. You should pay me for emotional damage and neglect. Then he links his cash app like OnlyFans models are going to actually send him money over this post. Looking for a new job. I need something where speed isn't so crucial, because my accuracy and speed were recorded. But my speed was way too slow, while my accuracy was top notch, so I've been looking elsewhere. So he either got fired or left his job. Apparently it was loading trucks at Walmart part time. Age gap relationships are as valid as interracial and same sex relationships. It's not like you think the white person is going to enslave the non-white person. It's not like the taller of the two is going to be predatorial. Maybe you should watch your ageism, racism, and homophobia if you want to call yourself progressive, left-wing, liberal, or a Christian. Good to hear Mr. Broke Atheist thinks he's the arbiter on who's a real Christian. Also, these interracial relationship comparisons are just getting more and more offensive. However, you saw the title of the video. Let's get to talking about his latest attempts to woo Gen Z with steak and other fine dining. If you're a woman I like, and you like me, we can go anywhere you want to eat in town. Hey, I like everything from sushi to steak to a good pizza. I can decide. You can decide. We can both decide. If I had a girlfriend, she'd eat well. She'd be in good company with me. I'd spend as much time as I could with her. Yeah, that's a horrifying thought. I think I'll spare narrating you this next one, but Lucas is rapping again. He then posted a video about a $110 steak he once had. Dinner out with some friends who are dating. Took them out on a nice meal to celebrate their togetherness. Yeah, buddy. Thai food. Body positivity should include everyone, not just arrogant fat chicks. As you can see, Lucas definitely believes in body positivity for himself. They're arrogant because people keep dating them. I don't understand why. I don't care if someone is fat. I care if someone is arrogance personified. Guys need to raise their standards, not lower them. Plus these judgy wenches are ageist, classist, racist, and heightist. Fuck them. Hypocrites. They want to be accepted. I'm talking about the uggos that demand a rich chat of a guy. I don't understand why guys lower their standards to date a loudmouth arrogant fool. Holy shit, it's like he's talking to himself. I can't fucking take it. There's no shame in loving any woman. You might be into women 20 years older or 20 years younger, because that's what's hot to you. Yeah, unless it's a fat woman, apparently. Nature is weird. Bears are a big animal with a big dick. I'm a big guy, and I'm flying my mosquito. You know... The ancient Greeks preferred a small peck peck, and no one knows why. Anal was hot back then. Maybe the ladies preferred a more contextually pleasing geometry. I'm not saying I know more than a Greek, but I have a device in my pocket connected to all the known information in the universe. Yeah, more about why his tiny penis is actually a good thing. You can't tell me clit on clit don't feel good. So might diminutive dicks to the chicks. I mean, if you wanna. Happy belated girlfriend's day. And to all the future girlfriends days. Talking to a fine-ass African-American woman on Tinder. I want to buy her dinner when I have the bennies in my pocket again. 
I'm thinking of getting lamb tongue and octopus in a meal out one time, because it's only $33 for both starters together, and I already love beef tongue and octopus sushi. It was only a matter of time. Ricotta salada cheese overlaid upon the tongue below with broccoli and something else not mentioned, but it ended the list on the menu in a plus. Looks about medium rare too. Gorgeous. The octopus hiding coyly under that parsley salad and tomato oil. Very seductive. I'll have to try both. It gets oddly sexual when Lucas talks about food sometimes. He ended one of his recent videos with the line, $110 porterhouse steak, nothing compares to you. Anytime you're eating any kind of fruit, nut, or seed, you're eating the reproductive organs of plants. Think of if a plant-based alien came down. She unmatched for me on Tinder when I told her I was looking for a new job and was between spots at the time being. But at least I have access to that golden ticket, and that gold ticket seems to be to have a job. Imagine this. You live in a dictatorship of money. You're single. You have $500 in your pocket. Your goal is to find a woman somewhere in public to have a nice sit-down meal with you. Define your approach. Obviously, I'd walk up and say, Hi, my name is Lucas. You look nice. That always gets the panties dropping. Here's Lucas's new profile picture, by the way. If you don't like steak, there's always sushi, pizza, tacos, pasta, sausage-stuffed quail, grilled lamb tongue. Point is, if it's a first date, we can meet for food anywhere in Spokane. Let's get to know each other. Let's fall in love. Let's talk. The real classism isn't that I'm offering a $100 steak for a chick from Gen Z, 18 to 25 in age, to go on a date with me. Democrat to Democrats here. The real classism is that I'm 44 and don't own my own home. Let's be real. Most of you own either. I have bipolar. Maybe it's ableism. Maybe Kamala Harris will make America truly great. I don't feel like either party in the US is going to want to hand Lucas a house. He'd just try to use it to prey on young women anyway. And this steak is insane. I won't begrudge someone an expensive steak if they can afford it, but this is well over 10% of his monthly income on one food item. It just boggles the mind. If you're a Gen Z woman, stop being classist, ageist, ableist, and weightist, and you'll find me. I know most of you are liberals. The hypocrisy is gross. Let's evolve together. Let's move beyond your bigotry, and I'll buy you a dinner at a Spokane Steakhouse ASAP. Let's just move past the fact that you don't like him. That's something you just gotta get over if you want to date with the Wern. Ageism. I'm 44. Classism. I live in a group home. Weightism. 279 pounds. Ableism. Bipolar. We're Democrats. This is unacceptable, Gen Z. I'm not telling you to be ableist, of course, but the fact that Lucas seems to think people aren't allowed to reject him because he's bipolar reminds me of Russell Greer a lot. I should be back talking about him again soon here. When I was 30, I danced with an 18-year-old chick at a party. When I was 34, I finger-banged an 18-year-old black chick in the back of her car. I'm 44, and you know I look at 21-year-old women and get even better ideas. Dinner, little miss. Little miss Spokane? Cause you're gorgeous. Apparently when he was fingering that girl he had really bad acid reflux and was trying not to puke the whole time. It sounds like a miserable experience for everyone involved. Also, I don't think he's ever claimed that she was 18 before, so she was probably older than that. Here's a long one. Steak? Coffee? I like and love gorgeous, fit and tone, bubbly, down to earth and chill with a nice symmetrical face and body, cheerful demeanor, eyes full of wonder and awe, Funny, non-ageist, nor classist, liberal to left wing, perfect, pretty and compassionate, hygienic, playful, maybe a little quirky, Gen Z type of women. Because most of these qualities are evident mostly in nubile, springy types of chicks. That whole list is hilarious coming from Lucas, but him requiring good hygiene might just be the funniest part. Since I've dated women 2 to 18 years older, I'll have no problem when you're my Haley Welch because I've fooled around with 18-year-olds in my 30s, and coupled with women at the same age as Kamala Harris in my 30s as well. My last girlfriend is currently 62. The one before her is 56. My girlfriend from high school is 46. So I mean, Sally Field is hot too, even at 77, as is Martha Stewart at 83. Why not a little less ageism from the bubbly ones, you know? There is no way Lucas thinks Martha Stewart is hot. He's making shit up so you don't call him ageist. Then to really drive the point home, he makes a very creepy post about Jane Fonda, too. 
I bloody hate bigots, especially ages, but I'll spring for a nice meal on our first date. Friend request accepted for $10. Free acceptance if you're a woman between 18 and 25 in the Spokane, Washington area. Okay, so I think that's enough of Lucas's idiocy for one day. We didn't get to the part where he made a TikTok account, actually, but we're pretty close. Anyway, I think that's about all the time I have for you today. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you have something to say about my content, or about the Wern and his offer of steak, let me hear it in the comments. By the way, this is a good sign of how bad food prices are getting. The same $85 porterhouse steak he was pitching 7 years ago is now $110. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more of the same. And now I really need to shout out my generous patrons who have been very patient with me recently. I should probably do a stream for them. Jimmo, Anui Blue, Levon, Chris Sturman, Chef Casa, Sion Wales, welcome, good to have you. Alberto2001, Big Mike Shirley, Chase Watson, Cho, Daniel De La Pena, Don Smith, Dev Notes, Dirty Denver, good to have you too. Dominique R, Ouroboros, Sammy, Sazandora, Skepticals, Wernology, William Ash, Zebrabird, Zephyrin, Bumbus McDonga, John Yorkie, Psychic Kumquat, Alex Anakin, Francois Tremblay, Knit One Code 2, Lil Spoon, Molly Mayhem, Step Dweller, and Hermes. Thank you all so much again. I made most of this video last night, so I'm probably going to get to work on a nice guy one right now. Thanks for bearing with me. Have a great day, everyone, and try not to insult Lucas too much over on TikTok. He's already getting really frustrated.